My name is Kanharama Senze Saleh and I'm the founder and producer of Keza by Kanharama Luxury Goods. I am half Rwandan, half Cameroonian, born and raised in Kenya. Keza started as an idea in 2016 after I graduated from high school. By 2017, I mastered the courage to start designing and crafting ideas for the vision I had for Keza. I wanted to stand out and what a better way than to tap into my own roots. So I decided to make leather bags and accessories that have ancient Imigongo Rwanda traditional art on them. My main goal is to set a foundation for the Rwandan art identity in its truest form. This is because there has been a long history of physical and intellectual looting of African art and cultural identity and I wanted to be among the first narrators and I wanted to be among the narrators of the Rwandan story through wearable art. The Migongo art is a Rwandan traditional art made of cow dung mixed with ash to kill bacteria and odor. The cow dung is then placed onto a wooden board and carved into different spiral and geometrical patterns. Traditionally, the art is then colored using black, white, beige, red, grey. However, there has been the use of different colors in, in a contemporary form of the Migongo art. Initially, it is believed that the Migongo painting was invented by a Rwandan prince, Kachira, in the 18th century, where he used cow dung to make murals on his palace walls and painted them using earthy colors from the plant ash and clay. Today, this art is practiced by women, mostly in the Gisaka region in eastern province of Rwanda. My hope is to give back to the Rwandan community to empower women who are involved in the Migongo art culture to tell the story of home one bag at a time. Hi again, my name is Kanharama Senze Sali and I'm the founder of Keza by Kanharama. Um, I mainly created this brand for people to know about the Rwandan art, the Imigongo. Usually people know the Uduseke, known as Peace Baskets, and those ones are easily mistaken for like the Ugandan culture because they're, they're Peace Baskets in Uganda and some other parts of East Africa, so it's easier to call for somebody who doesn't know the Rwandan culture or the Rwand or the African art in its own in its form, it will be easier for them to mistake one for the other. But the Imigongo is very unique in East Africa to Rwanda, even though um, there are different patterns made by different countries like South Africa. It's easier to be to identify the Migongo amongst all those art forms because it's quite unique with the patterns we make, the coloring we use, and the method which we use to create the Migongo. Like for example, this is the first ever laptop bag I made. It's called the Ikaze uh, laptop bag and Ikaze means welcome. So you're welcome to start a conversation with anybody about this art. And it's also three-dimensional just as the form of art that it's made out of. This is like a three-dimensional um, painting. It's made using cow dung and you can you use your fingers to make the patterns. So it's three-dimensional like you can feel the rib the ribbed sound when I touch it, same way when you touch the, the laptop bag. So I try as much to replicate the art form in its truest form so that when somebody experiences it, they know, oh, even though I don't have the, the Migongo art, I have an accessory that I can take wherever I go with me to tell the Rwandan story. Because it's not everywhere you go with a painting. Only painting you can find is in somebody's house and you can be like, oh, where is that art from? And they'll be able to explain to you. But your handbag, you take it everywhere. Your laptop bag, you take it everywhere. So it's a, it's a, it's a starter for conversations. And not only that, my main goal is to start, is to allow people to be 
confident in the African heritage, no matter where they are in the diaspora or those people who have African ancestry. So that's why I created this Black History Month shirt that has a collage or yeah, a, a collage of different names of the people of black people that paved the way for today's generation and yeah i hope um uh that i hope that say out loud would help me because one of the main goals to why i created this business is not only to tell the african the rwandan african story but also to empower the women who carry on this um tradition uh, teaching the, f the future how to do imigongo. I want to empower them and teach them about financial freedom so as they can they can escape or get out of the poverty cycle and if I was to get the grant it will allow me to buy machines, beadwork and also time to teach and research, the other resources to teach Rwandan women how to make such bags so that we can, together we can tell the Rwandan story one bag at a time.